Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the President of the United States Doomsday Plane. The plane is named the E-4B Nightwatch, costing the U.S. Air Force $223 million and nearly $160,000 per hour to fly. And as crazy as it seems, they have four of them. Its sole role is to be an airborne strategic command and control post similar to the Department of Defense operation within the Pentagon. The United States Department of Defense is an executive branch department of the federal government charged with coordinating and supervising all agencies and functions of the government directly related to the national security and the United States armed forces. Basically the E-4B serves as a survivable mobile command post for the National Command Authority which is the President of the United States and the Secretary of Defense. And in worst case scenarios, whereas the President and Secretary of Defense are dead, their successors, the Vice President and Deputy Secretary of Defense would go on board instead. The E-4Bs are powered by four powerful General Electric engines with 52,500 pounds of force each, totaling 210,000 pounds of force. It can fly up to 45,000 feet, cruise at 556 miles per hour with a max speed of 602 miles per hour. Its initial range is 7,200 miles, but with mid-air refueling, it can fly for up to 150 hours. In other words, when you do the math, cruising at 556 miles per hour with an endurance of at least 150 hours, this plane can fly around the world more than three times without ever landing. Now of course, this would only happen in a worst case scenario, such as a nuclear war going on, and even in that case, the E-4B was built to survive a nuclear blast. The windows are made similarly to those of microwaves to prevent radiation, while the equipment on board are hardened to survive an electromagnetic pulse. The plane looks to be old, but don't underestimate its capability. The technology is sufficient. It is so much so that it can talk to submarines that are underwater and has more capabilities in communication than Air Force One. Thanks for watching this short video on the E-4B Nightwatch. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you have any additional details you'd like to add, leave them in the comments down below. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss a brand new video. That's all for this video. It's been Marlon the Aviator and I'm out.